And our last story tonight is from Britain, where the government is currently embroiled in a sleaze row. It faces accusations of corruption. The accusations primarily concern a former MP who was found guilty of lobbying for two companies in return for money. The British government first tried to defend him, then took a U-turn by admitting its mistake. Today, the Prime Minister was grilled in the Parliament over this scandal. Boris Johnson was supposed to answer questions from the opposition, but his efforts to dodge those questions landed him in a rather awkward situation. He had to be reminded by the Speaker of the House that he is not above scrutiny. Here's a report on what happened. Prime Minister, sit down. Prime Minister, I'm not going to be challenged. You may be the Prime Minister of this country, but in this house, I'm in charge. And we're going to carry on. It was an unusual sight. The Prime Minister of Britain got a severe dressing down in the British Parliament. That is what he's guilty of. Lindsay Hoyle, the Speaker of the House of Commons, was unsparing in his rebuke. He reminded Boris Johnson that his authority is not supreme, that he has no choice but to obey the rules of the parliament. What was all this about? The so-called sleaze row, which has hit 10 Downing Street. For the uninitiated, the British government has been accused of sleaze, immoral and corrupt behavior in its functioning. It all started with a lobbying scandal which involved Conservative MP Owen Patterson. He was accused of trying to influence the government's policies in favor of two companies for which he does paid work. The companies in question are Randox, a clinical diagnostics firm, and Linz Country Foods, a meat distributor. Mr. Patterson apparently used his parliamentary office to approach UK's Food Standards Agency on behalf of these companies. In other words, he lobbied to uphold the interests of these companies in return for money. Something that is strictly forbidden. The British Parliamentary Standards Commissioner found him guilty. It decided to suspend him. The Boris Johnson government challenged the suspension. It called for a review into the standards of Commissioner. And then it took a humiliating U-turn by ditching all such efforts and admitting it was at fault. The MP in question has resigned. The Prime Minister has been left to deal with the opposition's ire. On Wednesday he was subjected to a fierce parliamentary grilling over the scandal. Leading the charge was Keir Starmer, the newly appointed chief of UK's Labour Party. We still haven't shut the door on re the revolving door where ministers are regulating a company one minute and working for them the next. There are plenty of cases that still stain this house. There are two simple steps to sorting it out. Proper independence and powers for the Business Appointments Committee and banning these job swaps. Will the Prime Minister take those steps. The Prime Minister was on the defensive throughout. Instead of answering questions on his MP's conduct, he repeatedly tried to question the opposition leader over his past actions, which he said amounted to sleaze as well. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I've called, as you know, and indeed you have called, uh, Mr. Speaker, for a cross-party approach to this. And what I think we need, what I, what I think we need to, to do is to work together on the basis of the independent report uh, by the Committee of Standards in Public Life uh, to take things forward and, and indeed to address the appeals process. But what I think everybody can see, Mr Speaker, is that in a classic, loyally way, uh, the right honourable gentleman is now uh, trying to prosecute others for exactly the course of action that he took himself. And, and what, I think that, what I think the nation wants to know, because his register is incomplete, who paid who paid Mish Kondorea and who paid the 25000 Who's paying him for his... The exchange turned so bitter that the Speaker of the House had to intervene and remind Boris Johnson that he was the one who was supposed to answer the questions, not the opposition. Prime Minister, I don't want to follow out about it. I've made it very clear. It is Prime Minister's questions. It's not for the opposition to answer your question. But whether we like it or not, those are the rules of the game that we're all into, and we play by the rules, don't we? And we respect this house, so let's respect the house. This dramatic intervention is dominating headlines. 
it shows that Boris Johnson won't have an easy exit from the Slees Row mess. A member of his party has been accused of corruption. The Prime Minister faces charges of trying to cover it up. Some tough days lie ahead for 10 Downing Street. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.